Hey guys, it's finally here, the official version of Android 4.3 that was released by Google yesterday. I've installed it on my Nexus 4 right here. I used the factory images to do that. I've released a tutorial on exactly how to do that, so you can go ahead and do that if you want to. And yeah, I've really been enjoying Android 4.3 on my Nexus 4 right here. I'm just gonna dive into the settings to show you it is actually 4.3. Go to about phone, you can see Android 4.3 there. New baseband version, new kernel version. It's also got a new radio as well. And you can see the build number has also changed. If we click 4.3 a few times, you get the jelly bean, Android 4.3 jelly bean. And I've got to say, I'm really enjoying it. It's, uh, it's, although there's not many UI changes, there are a lot of under the hood changes that are making quite a big difference to the Nexus 4. Firstly, I'll talk about the screen colors. On Android 4.2.2, the previous version, the colors on the Nexus 4 weren't quite right. They, they kind of sucked, they weren't right. Android 4.3 seems to have fixed that. The colors are a hell of a lot better. And I don't know how this is possible. The screen also seems a little bit brighter to me. I'm not sure if that's just me or what, but it's probably the colors affecting it. But the screen does feel like it's a little bit brighter as well, which is a pretty awesome, pretty awesome thing. The next big thing is the touch response. We all know the Nexus 4 didn't have great touch response. Again, that has been fixed. It's pretty much spot on now with all the other phones. If I really lightly touch the screen here, and I am really lightly touching this, you can see it's it's moving. If you do that on your Nexus 4.2.2, you'll notice that it won't move. The touch response isn't as good. So they've upgraded the touch driver and it just makes everything a lot more speedy, a lot quicker. In terms of the overall performance, again, I think I've noticed an improvement there. The apps are opening just that little bit quicker and just that little bit snappier. That could also be due to that touch driver as well, but we do have a new kernel version, but all the apps just seem to fly open. Scrolling in the apps also seems to be very smooth, a bit smoother than it was in 4.2.2. So it's definitely worth the update. I'm really happy with Android 4.3. I know a lot of you will say it's a minor update, but I don't agree. It's not really a minor update. There's so much stuff they've done under the hood here. It makes it a pretty big update. Yes, there's no changes to the UI, no major changes anyway, but it is still a big update for the under the hood changes. And I definitely suggest you give it a shot. You could also wait for your ROM developers to incorporate the changes of Android 4.3, but I've really been enjoying the stock 4.3. Obviously you do have that auto complete in the dialer. You also have that setting now in Wi-Fi. You can see that here if I go to advanced, la di da, advanced, where are we? Here we go, scanning always available. Let's Google location service and other apps scan for networks even when Wi-Fi is off. There's a few changes like that, but like I said, I've been really happy. In terms of the rest of the performance, I did run an Antutu benchmark here. And if I show you the result, you can see here, it didn't score particularly high, definitely nowhere near what we were getting on custom ROMs, 17,503. But if you go to the chart and hit up the Nexus 4, you'll notice that the two scores that the 4.3 Nexus 4 does beat the 4.2 Nexus 4 is in the GPU. We know it has those really good GPU enhancements, especially the OpenGL 3.0. And you can see the uh, 2D score and 3D score here of the 4.3 Nexus 4 easily beats out the Nexus 4 4.2.2 by quite a long way as well. So it's definitely a good improvement in the GPU department. If I also show you here, it beats the Sony Xperia Z. Obviously the Xperia Z is running at a higher resolution, but nonetheless it beats the 3D performance there. And even it beats the 3D performance of the HTC One, again, running that higher resolution to so take that into account. But nonetheless, it's still impressive. It doesn't quite beat out the uh, Galaxy S4 Exynos version, but I don't know about the uh, quad core Snapdragon version, but nonetheless, there are some good GPU improvements here on the stock Android 4.3. So you're probably gonna get higher performance in games and stuff like that. But yeah, I've been uh, really happy with stock Android 4.3 guys. Peace out.